See, I told you I'd be back with another trailer. So, uh, this is a CXRF, RF meaning road and forestry trailer. This is a non dumping trailer. This is a bunk trailer. Uh, let me get the camera flipped around and I'll show you what it's all so about. CXRF 50 heavy duty, uh, 50 meaning about five tons worth of carry capacity, you know, on the deck itself. Um, we did spec this one out with a diamond plate floor. I'll probably put like a four by four post, you know, across here from bunk to bunk just to keep the grapple from bouncing into the diamond plate. But just in case you want to move some bags on this or some pallets or anything, you don't have to worry about it falling through the open floor. Uh, we do have four big heavy duty hook ended uh, trucker straps on this. Um, trailer is right about 4,000 pounds, maybe 4,200 with the loader and the diamond plate on it. Um, this is the PID 17, which is rated for 2,300 pounds, right about where it's at. And then if it goes all the way out full reach, you're about 60% of that 2,300 pounds. Um, we did do the upgraded axles on this. They are 8Ks with the 17.5 load range J18 ply tire. Uh, in the back here, just so you can securely store the grapple, we did this uh, hideaway rear window or trap door. So then down here on the big stud is where you can mount the grapple for transport. That'll lay wide open flush. And it gets the grapple nice and low going down the highway. All LED lights across the back and the sides. The bunk poles are removable. Just pull the clip pin out down there and then you can kind of move them around. I like to have some up in the front and some at the back, leaving the middle open for the grapple to pass through. Um, I always try to center the load over the axle on these. Uh, we did step back the axle quite a bit because I tend to carry longer wood. It is about a 14 foot deck on this. So normally um, the two axles would be moved forward about here. But because we do some longer stuff hanging off the back, that way it kind of balances out the load a little bit. Now, we've sold a bunch of these winches, but I have never actually had one here at the woodlot, so we'll have to play with that later on today. So the lever here on the side is actually for the winch in and out, which is normally our dump cylinder, or our dump valve, rather. So then up on the boom is our hydraulic winch. We do have synthetic cable in this one. And like I said, later on, we'll actually get this uh, all the way out and drag some wood over to it. Um, new option that we have is actually on the little trailer over there. And it is a remote option. That's the remote controller and the transmitter box. So that'd be pretty neat to play with that one later on, which we can do that on here as well. And so... Uh, always up on the boom, there's the two pre-drilled holes. That's why they're there, just in case you ever did want to mount up a hydraulic winch. This is kind of what it looks like here. Um, actually, while I'm up here on the platform, we did this one with a uh, thumb control for the grapple. And best I can say is green is grab, red is let it go. Um, and everything else works correspondingly. Um, pressure gauge. This is standard on all the newer units just so we can read that 3000 PSI is our max pressure on this. If it's not lifting something up and it's reading 3000 PSI, you are outside of the manufacturer's spec on this. Got some concrete blocks, I think. There they are that I'll try and play with later on. It should weigh about 1800 pounds a piece, give or take. So, so we do there. Um, 48 inch pass through grapple pretty standard on these bigger units we have a 32 or a 36 on the smaller log loaders
As of right now, this trailer is available for purchase. I'll put the price and the specs in the description down below. The galvanized trailer with the loader face in this direction is mine. The gooseneck trailer is available. We're kind of doing a November, December special on that one. And the ATV little tractor ag trailer there in the background is going to Ohio. But this is the uh, log loaders that we have set up here currently. Well, if we can ever get you a quote on any of these trailers, it's 833-SPLITTER. That's 833-775-4887. You can also email me at sales at shaverequipment.com. Don't forget to check us out over on the Facebook page, which is just facebook.com slash shaver sales inc. We're always working hard to be lazy, and we'd love to earn your business with the sales quote. So please give us a call, send us an email, smoke signal, whatever you want to do. But we'd love to earn your business. Um, hopefully we'll hear from you soon and have a great day. Thanks.